going to show the boat. We are just awake. So first, we are going to enjoy our breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Today we will make a small tour of our Lona. Uh, it's built in Argentina, in San Fernando, uh, in Buenos Aires. Um, we are Lona registered in New Zealand, in Auckland. Um, this is our dinghy, 20 horsepower outboard uh, on the dinghy. We have a uh, shore water supply at the moment. Make it easy, this, we have a life raft uh, installed here. So we start with the sugar scoop. Um, maybe I'll show you the first edge as well. So, not an engine as in most catamarans you would expect. We have um, a water maker here. And it's all filters and um, even in case of an emergency, we have a tiller there. Okay, let's walk up to the bow. Um, There's a water catch uh, system here. So that can uh, be switched to our water tanks or straight overboard. Um, we have a bit of an extended boom as we have an in-mast furling uh, system. Um, this is nice, it's an extra sun protection as well for uh, the uh, saloon. We have a double cleat, uh, fair leads. Um, so on the trampoline, which is not a rope one, but uh, more a mesh uh, trampoline, it's really comfortable. And we have fair leads on both uh, the inside and the outside uh, of the bow. Um, I'll show you a nice feature we introduced as we have the first hybrid of Antares. Um, there is no generator on the boat, so what we have installed is a small um, workshop. So we have drawers here, all cupboards, um, more cupboards there. We can stow uh, sails here, so that's at the moment the code zero. We didn't put that up yet. We have an asymmetric uh, in here as well. Okay, so we have um, our anchor. We have a Rockna uh, anchor. We have that uh, in here. There is a place for a secondary anchor. Um, that goes to a anchor locker with a windlass. 48 volt windlass is a lot of road, uh, rope here. Um, I think at the moment we have around 100 meters of, uh, or 60 meters of chain, 65 and 35 meters of uh, road. Um, next to that is our um, battery locker. I'll just go in this locker. There we have most of our electronics. So again, this is a hybrid. And next to me is um, eight big uh, 24 volt batteries. And over there, there are two uh, 12 volt batteries. So it's a 24 volt bank, and this is a 48 volt bank. Um, that's for the in mast furling, it's a Selden uh, system. We have a fuel transfer pump, so we can transfer fuel from port to starboard or vice versa. This is the um, windlass. And you'll see that all our halyards are going straight to the back, so easy to um, uh, to use. So going to port, um, you see more hatches. Um, that is our second shower. Um, this is a cast cabin. I'll show you that when we are inside. Big roof hatches. They catch us, uh, catch nice wind and make it cool in the uh, cockpit area. So let's go back to the aft of the boat. That, by the way, is the uh, Iridium uh, satellite uh, antenna. And there is, I'm just going back here as well. Um, we have put and GSM and Wi-Fi antenna, and that small one is uh, the, G the GPS for the VHF. 
So here you can see the solar panels. We have three walk-on and then four uh, big 360 watt uh, per panel uh, solar panel. So that's easy to step on this uh, saloon uh, roof as well. Um, you see the, again the double cleat, the uh, fair lead. Um, there's steps both sides of the, uh, the mast and of course also on the other side. Um, so Antero has made a new logo for the hybrid. You can grab every, th every time a rail. Okay, so let's enter uh, the cockpit uh, area. So we have a nice teak table, um, which at the moment is only half up. Um, you can swing the other half up as well. And it's a huge entertainment space. Inside, um, you have extra storage. And um, I think a wine bottle should be uh, here. So the new Antares design is with squared um, entertainment space. We have here a, a day bed. Um, you can adjust different angles uh, to, uh, to the backrest. I think it is an extremely comfortable uh, bed um, to read a nice book. So again, it's a pretty safe boat. It's an extremely safe boat. Uh, we have rail uh, on either side of the um, of the cockpit. Um, really sturdy parts uh, to hold the roof up, but also um, the sheet, um, the Genoa sheet, is going through um, that stainless steel one. This is even on an angle, so to make sure that it is attacking the uh, winch on the, the right angle as well. So on the other side, as the winch turn both the same way, and um, this is uh, more straight. So again, it's perfectly aligned. Um. So that are two manual winches. We have two electrical uh, winches as well. Um, that one for the main sheet. In fact, we have two main sheet and the uh, vang. And on the aft pedestal, we have an electric uh, winch to control uh, halyards and um, uh, to uh, do, for instance, the outhaul of the main sail. That's a Seldon system, it is a synchronized system. So whatever we do here is synchronized with the small motor in the mast to outhaul the, the main. At the back we um, have two uh, rumble seats. Um, that is a feature we, uh, we choose. And the nice thing with the rumble seat is that you are on the same level as um, the main cockpit window. So it is nice for your passengers that they can see, um, see out. Um, underneath um, we have storage uh, for lines and some extra storage uh, for whatever you want to, uh, to use it for. Behind that part of the space um, we have a, um, or above we have a barbecue, electric barbecue. And in here we have uh, both 240 volt and 120 volt uh, system. 110 to 20 whatever you like um, on the same is uh, in this one and we have an um, lines here to uh, lift the, the dinghy oh that's cleaning material so going to um, the helm station um, there's an option to change this over so it's still it can be like a uh, entertainment uh, seat or it is the um, seat for your helm station. So we have a carbon fiber helm station um, on Lona. We have double plotter system. And then, um, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff. Uh, so on the two outer sides, we have PNG uh, information uh, screens, the Yanmars in the middle. And these uh, things are for the hybrid system. As we have the option to use two or one electrical uh, motor or one or two uh, diesel engines, which are switched on and off um, over there. This is our VHF uh, system. We have a theatered one and a wireless uh, one, and of course a compass. We have um, autopilot system, is fusion radio system, and there is on this side an, a chain counter for the, uh, the anchor. 
Then we have 12 volt, we have USB, and we can control, we can see all the data of the Victron energy system. So what is our short power, what is our battery power, what are we using, and um, yeah, you can put everything uh, on the plotters, whatever you like. So as mentioned before, we have a, um, a double uh, main sheet. So they're both uh, controlled uh, from here. And um, when you are sitting behind the helm, you have a good view of uh, your sails. So yes, we have some extra protection against the sun. And Buenos Aires is really nice and hot uh, today or the whole summer. Also, we installed an extra fridge and this comes nice uh, storage space here. Although we are at the dock still, it's nice to show you the uh, hybrid part. Um, hybrid is only working when the Yamars are not switched on. So that's a safety thing, you can't have them both. So I switched off Yamars and you see here um, and that's it. You, you probably hear the wash of the uh, the prop. And that's so easy. And now, as soon as I switch on the Yammer, it goes to um, regeneration uh, mode. And um, of course we can uh, switch them off. So there's a lot of storage uh, on the boat um, and, and we are close to uh, to leave the dock so we have a lot of storage in use as well but there are two big uh, storage areas here they are huge and that goes all the way till oh, the white over there and so double and even a bit further this is a huge almost like a garage uh, we also added two cup holders there and um, the switches here we protected that they are the bilge pumps you don't want accidentally pump uh, into it and switch them off so they should be all on on auto uh, there's a dimmer light here for led in the roof we have a red light uh, in the roof as well during the night we have the cockpit lights um, so we have all lights in here but also behind over there in the evening it's awesome Just realized I forgot to show you we have floodlights installed um, on the, the roof of the uh, cockpit. The idea is that uh, when you come in the evening with your dinghy you have enough light and maybe intruders are lit up um, where they probably don't like that. But um, we think that's a handy uh, safety feature. Speakers there as well. On the port sugar scoop. Um, this is a nice garden. It comes and goes. But we have um, a swimming uh, ladder integrated in the sugar scoop. Um, we did put some extra protection here for shaving off lines uh, when they use uh, springs. We also have uh, installed a tap so we can uh, rinse or clean the outboard on the dinghy. This is a shower so you can control temperature. This is a shower uh, here. So, easy after a nice swim, you have a good freshwater shower and you can enter Lona nice and clean. Okay, let's go inside. Um, it's a really nice sturdy door by the way. It's, it's um, easy to get rid of excess water in case of uh, emergency. And there is a fly screen here as well. And uh, Okay, let's go inside. We ignore the salon for a sec. We just go to the starboard um, part. Um, in here, so this is a nice hallway. You see there's a lot of uh, storage space as well. Um, that's a special cupboard for laundry, big cupboard. Um, so all the electronics are in, uh, in the hallway here can lit them up nice as well 
So all your switches, circuit breakers are convenient uh, placed in here. Just with one glance, you can see your two starter batteries, the main house battery and uh, the Selden uh, in-mass furling battery or the 24 volt and the 48 volt bank. So I, they always showed a bit higher when it is fully charged. And this is our um, AC supply. So we have 103 and 108 from the shore um, and that will be then stabilized and, and made nice uh, with our inverters to 120 and 240 volts. Uh, all the technical stuff uh, in here. We added an extra big switch there so we can choose what the power supply is for our autopilot as we think the autopilot is extremely important for us. And behind um, this door there's a lot of double up information or, or systems. A second 24 volt system, a second 12 volt uh, system, chargers. Um, this is the Victron uh, screen so we are uh, plugged in at the moment and this is our air conditioning which we do not run at the moment and that's the bilge alarm so the hat in starboard forward so it's an um, electric toilet it's a full shower i'm pretty tall so the shower is tall as well and it's the vanity It's a nice, comfortable shower. So we have two hatches uh, there as well. So plenty of fresh air. So as you see here, the whole boat has uh, two uh, plugs. So one for the US or the American 120 volt system and a more European style plug uh, for 240. And then there is a USB-C and a USB-A. And we have that at a lot of spaces in the, in the boat. So, going to our uh, aft uh, master cabin, um, this hallway, or maybe I'll go through first. So we have an extra long bed, it's uh, two meters and a bit. Um, there's air conditioning uh, there as well. A lot of opening hatches, uh, so, and a really nice, it's an extra fan or a fan. So again, you see USB port uh, there, can be handy for uh, Jacqueline to uh, power up her or to charge her um, mobile phone. Uh, storage. So just to close this door, so you can see me as well. Uh, this is where we have a washing machine storage underneath I'm wondering what is underneath it at the far end we have our water tank there's a big diesel tank and i opened or jackie opened the hatches here or the floor floorboards so we have a 40 uh, horsepower um, yammar and so that's one of the yammars on the other side we have the second one and um, that is um, a 20 liter uh, hot water cylinder and uh, so it's a shaft break, uh, the red thing. So in here, that's where you can see hybrid marine. So that top part of the engine, that is where the hybrid is uh, mounted. And that white thing, there's a clutch, you can dismount it from the uh, shaft and then the shaft is not spinning and you still can use your Yammar um, as a generator. So custom made uh, part. It's Otherwise, it didn't fit in the boat. It's an extremely nice engine and it's really smooth sailing with them. So let's move to the salon. Oh, by the way, I, I like this. This is such a nice detail and they work. And, and just with the, the wood as well. Um, so all the nerves, it starts here and then look. I think that's an awesome job they, uh, they did do. So here we enter the uh, salon. Um, we chose for the love seat option, as they call it, the two forward facing uh, seats. It also gives you a bit of an extra um, space to, um, to sit and to entertain instead of all around the very nice table. So that table that is 
really nice comfortable so you can just slide it in and out it's um you can increase and raise the height you can even make a bed out of it uh, if you like so here we have a speaker for the fusion radio system um, we have both speakers uh, as well uh, for that system So the radio system is behind uh, uh, the two outer ones. So in fact, the, uh, here we have that. Um, I think this might be a bit messy, but um, I put a printer uh, in there. It's a lot of space. And for us, um, as again, I, I'm pretty tall. So we increase the height um, in the hallway. So they raise the height here um, in the hallway. So on the boat nothing is having sharp corners so this is our only sharp corner in the boat um, and that's because of our request but everything is nice and smooth and uh, on a 60 degree or 90 degree with curved uh, angles so here we have again a BAG uh, 9 inch um, uh, plotter we have the VHF Iridium satellite phone is another BNG screen and um, yeah we have two portable uh, devices as well. So red light uh, for the chart. I show you, I forgot about that. So here the lights, we added a red one as well. So during the night we have red uh, one on either side of the hull and in the cockpit. The uh, chair, um, it changes as well. So we can uh, move the chair and be a part of uh, the settee. Um, you can still slide it forward and move it down and up and, and all the things you would expect. That's air conditioning. Uh, we have several items. So we have an air conditioning in the salon and we have two air conditionings on um, the guest cabin and the master uh, cabin. There's a lot of um, hatches um, here, all forward facing. So at the moment they're all closed as we run the air conditioning. Um, these two they installed later as well in the newer Antares boats and they are so great. As they catch, catch some wind and together with the window here which is uh, sliding open uh, it just uh, gives you uh, plenty of fresh air. That's uh, where all wiring is behind and this is where all the, uh, the dashboard instruments are uh, hidden. Uh, that, by the way, uh, bulb is for our uh, wiper on the glass windscreen uh, for the, the helm station. So on here we have um, a freezer. Okay, so let's go down to the port part of the boat. So this is the galley, galley down as they call it. And that's a huge, incredible space. We love that, or Jackie extremely loves it. So that's a rubbish uh, bin. So we have a double sink. We have a lot of uh, taps as well. This is just a very handy shower tap. Um, this is a UV, uh, oh, look at that. It's so handy. And this one um, is UV. It's, um, if you use the rainwater catching system, you want to kill all the germs. Uh, it's a soap dispenser there. And if we, for whatever reason, use um, lose all the um, the power, then we have a uh, hand pump as well. And um, so here, okay, I'll don't do that now. But we can pump water, fresh water, um, from the tanks. So, in case of emergency, we will not having a problem with our uh, drinking water. Um, so we have a um, convection microwave, extremely nice oven. It's a Bosch system, but it's so great. It's a steam oven. It's well, better than we have had with all our previous houses. Um, so it's a three hop uh, induction, uh, so it's Bosch as well really quick really nice and we did bring our own uh, 
uh, multi cooker. Okay, so just we have a lot of cupboards here. There's a lot of storage space. Um, so I did mention the uh, the bin, but uh, it's in fact so it's a really nice handy bin. A bin. So again, and even interiors made the bin themselves. So, uh, so it's storage space, and um, so this is soft close. Um, yeah, big spaces, uh, dr drawers. Um, uh, can you open a drawer? Oh yeah, it's, it's four drawers and then two times uh, the big ones over there. Uh, underneath the oven we have as well, it's so amazing. This, by the way, is our fridge. Um, so fridge on one side, freezer on that side. So it's a top loaded freezer normally. Okay, so let's go to the guest forward cabin. It's a double bed here uh, with an extra fan. Um, there's storage uh, for them as well, and we have an aircon uh, outlet. Um, that's one of the hatches I showed you uh, before uh, outside. Um, we did install a extra uh, bed in here together with their own fan storage. There's even underneath this uh, storage. It's so awesome. Uh, there's a water tank, diesel tanks here, um, engine in the kitchen, same setup as on the other side. So their own hat um, and the shower. So it's an electric hat and behind the, over there is uh, a shower, some pump, so the um, water will be pumped out uh, of the boat. Okay, going to the aft guest cabin, so aft port, so this is where, or that's where the engine is. And a hot water cylinder as well. So this is a queen bed. Also with their own air conditioning system, fan. At the moment our day bed is covering the hatch. Um, but we have again a lot of hatches. Everything can open. It's, it's really great. Underneath here of the um, of the queen bed is extremely a lot of uh, storage space. Um, we can easily put, I think, up to four big suitcases. So the 23 kilo suitcases you take on the airplane, you can store them underneath here. Plenty of storage in here, and, and really, what's also nice is two big drawers. So easy for guests to, uh, to store their gear. And this nice cupboard. And here, by the way, this is our water catching system. So water from the uh, cockpit uh, roof is collected. And then we can choose if we go straight to the sea or if we put it in the tank. So at the moment it is diverted to the ocean. If we change that system, so in this case, it will go to the tank, stop the ocean, go into the tank. So I think that almost concludes the, uh, the tour of our Lona. By the way, what you can see, there are two drawers there as well. I put in my tools and um, it's so nice with, with everything. This handles everywhere. And um, yeah, so you can easily uh, find our tools. I didn't show you this one as well. So we have an extra table, so you can put your computer. We have power in there, there's power underneath it. So this is the backside of um, our washing machine. And we put, for instance, our uh, dust uh, vacuum uh, cleaner um, in that locker. Okay. That's it.